Hello everyone, Rich here with Nopex 6.7.1, brand new, released September 17, 2011. Now if you haven't used Nopex in a while, it has changed. For the better, as far as I'm concerned. And on the release page here, it gives general information about Micronopix, and here's some of the stuff you should be aware of. First, a, it is, as it says, a complete rewrite of the Nopix boot system from version 6.0 and up, with the following features. High compatibility with Debian base. Very good. Accelerated boot procedure. Yes, I can definitely say it boots really quick. Uses LXDE as the graphical environment probably already know what LXDE is. Some people prefer it over X-Face. Lightweight, fast, looks good. That's all that matters. Amount of installed software greatly reduced... Yeah, try that again. Amount of installed software greatly reduced in CD version, which happens to be the version that I'm using right now because I didn't feel like downloading the full DVD release. I just wanted something quick so I could show it to you guys. Although in the DVD edition, as it states, there's a whole bunch of applications. But in the CD version, not really, and that's fine. Network config now being handled by Network Manager with NM-applet in graphics mode and textual GUIs in text mode compatible to Debian's Etsy network interfaces specification. So again, I believe this is more of a compatibility thing, and that's good. Persistent image for saving personal settings. And it additionally installed programs Nopix slash Nopix dash data IMG is supported on the boot device optionally encrypted and this is the big one right here optionally encrypted so if you want to encrypt your personal settings you can do it and that's nice and as far as what's new in this specific version 671 well it says it's been updated from Debian squeeze with the usual picks from testing unstable it uses the latest and greatest Linux kernel 304, XORG 7.6, core 1.11 for supporting current most computer hardware. That's good, so if you have newer hardware you want to uh, boot Nopix from, Nopix will support it, and that's the whole point of using all this new stuff. And uh, LibreOffice 343, Nouveau graphics module supporting newer NVIDIA cards, with accelerated graphics and so on for things like Compass, Chromium 13, uh, but that's only in the DVD. Uh, Firefox 6.2 should be in here, which it actually is not. And that's kind of interesting because it said it is, yet it's not. Un it would be under in under internet, yet it's not here. Maybe slight oversight. Doesn't matter anyway because it's easy to install. And then you can see the uh, options for the uh, for Grub and Adrian updated to 1.4 non-visual desktop framework. S new stuff in the DVD version and some bug fixes and blah blah blah. Okay. Anyway, Nopix, at least for me, is best known to boot from uh, for emergency situations. If you have a Windows computer where the uh, operating system is borked beyond belief, but you need to get files off of it, generally speaking, Nopix has as far as I'm concerned, this is just my opinion, the best live CD image that you could get. Now this is a locally installed version uh, in a virtual session, which I purposely wanted to do. You can do that via, um, well, if you were booted from the CD, it would be under, I believe, System Tools, and you'll see Nopix HD Installer, and it's pretty straightforward. It does its thing. It has auto partitioning, and it installs Grub and all that stuff. But anyway, from the live CD, definitely has everything you would want and it is so blisteringly fast that's one of the best parts about Nopix and pretty much always has been is that as far as a CD distro goes or a live CD distro it's definitely got it where it counts so there's really not much in here I could show you that you have not already seen before um, I'm trying to think I mean you know GIMP you know LibreOffice well, this is the Ice Weasel browser, which you may or may not have seen. I don't know. Which I'm wondering if this counts as the uh, Firefox 602. Oh, I think it does. I'm sorry, I have to correct myself. Ice Weasel is the Firefox. <laughs> Designed by Mozilla. Okay. Sorry, I had to correct myself right there. Okay, so that's where the Firefox is. It's actually Ice Weasel. 
You've got your Pigeon, your Terminal Surfer client. Um, I do like the fact that this comes with full LibreOffice right off the disk, and if you install it, well, you know, it's there. So if you need a full featured LibreOffice, it's on here, and for a small distro, I believe that's important. And then for your system tools, really not much going on here, and then you have your universal access. I do appreciate the fact that they have a resolution button for monitor settings right here by default. So when you boot or you install, you can just switch right from there and it goes right through and that's cool. And so I'm very happy you don't have to hunt around for that because when you're booting from a disk, you don't want to have to go through menu, 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 menu just to find that. Here's the LibreOffice uh, part right here where you can just launch whatever you need to. There's the IceWeasel browser, which is right here, That's the terminal emulator, and the file manager, which is uh, LXDE standard, I believe. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have not used Nopix in a while, yes, I would recommend getting it and trying it out. Uh, if you have not updated your Linux Rescue CD or Rescue Flash utility, and oh, I should mention that too, there is a utility built into this to install direct to Flash, which is uh, Flash Stick or Flash Hard Drive, whatever. So that's cool too. But if you have have not updated your Rescue CD or Flash Stick for when you need to do emergency recovery stuff, you should download Nopix and definitely check it out. Now, I'm not saying that. Nopix isn't good as um, how do I put it as desktop OS. It is. It runs fantastic. But is it better than say Linux Mint? Well, that's debatable. That would be up to you because I I personally think Linux Mint gives a better desktop experience. Over it's tough to beat. You got to admit, tough to be in the Linux realm anyway. Tough to beat. But as far as a uh, rescue CD operate. Uh, try it again. Rescue CD operating system. I really don't think anything beats Nopix, and I still don't believe anything beats Nopix in that respect. But what's your opinion? Download it. You tell me. And uh, discuss it in the comments, and we'll see what happens.